Hey guys, it's Beck here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing another first impressions mini review on a Kmart hair tool. Today we'll be looking at the Y plate straightener. This is it here. So, of course, it had a box, but in case you didn't know, salt lamps like this thing, they leak. If you turn them off, they can leak. I think I've heard it being referred to as crying before. But anyway, long story short, that leaked and ruined the box and the instructions for this bad guy here. But this is it. This is the Kmart wire plate straightener. It retails for $25 in store and on their website. Um, I've picked up a few little interesting tidbits about it on the Kmart website, but it has an LED screen, which I am thinking is there, but we will see that when we plug it in. They heat up to 230 degrees. They heat up within four minutes. They are ideal for thick hair and have floating ceramic plates. I think that just means that they pivot. All right, let's plug it in and see how we go. Okay, I've plugged it in and straight away it turned on the little power um, button came on. So I'll just touch it again. Oh, press it again and it goes to blue. And that little LED screen lights up if you can see that there. So it's saying it's at 150 degrees. There's no um, like up and down button for the heat. So I'm just gonna press the power button again. Okay, no, that just turned it off. So I press it again, it must just heat up in time. So it doesn't have a um, unchangeable setting by the looks of things, you just have to have it at 230 degrees, which is pretty hot. It also has a little speaker in there, if you can see, you probably can't, but there is a little speaker in there. All right, let's give this thing four minutes to heat up. While that's waiting to heat up, we'll prep our hair. I'm going in with the GHD Unplugged Heat Protectant Spray. My hair is fresh. I just washed it last night and let it dry naturally. And I've been waiting for it to heat up and it hasn't moved from 150 degrees. It's a real shame I do not have the instructions. So we'll give it a couple more minutes. So we're still waiting. While we're waiting, I'll just section off my hair. Like always, I'm just gonna go from that part of my ear across the back of my head to get our first section. It's actually really bothering me that this doesn't have an adjustable heat setting. I thought all kind of straighteners did. I've tried pressing everything. I've tried pressing the power button, just pressing it to see if it did it if you hold it in it turns off so don't do that unless you want to turn it off try to touch this blue thing on the LED screen nothing it's just no way to turn it up or down but there's extra there's extra numbers in here if you look closely it does say it goes up to 230 but I guess we'll just wait maybe give it the whole four minutes like it requested okay so four minutes later and it still hasn't heated up so I am just I had to go on the Kmart website and pull up the instructions to see how to adjust the heat on this hair straightener so that's a good tip if you do lose the instructions the website does have the instruction manual okay we're already off to a bad start apparently that blue thing there which looks like it's part of the LED screen is the temperature control I have pressed it using different fingers I'll use this towel comb something sharp it's just not working and I don't have the box so I can't take it back so funny how that works all right well I'm just gonna unplug it and just do a kind of turning it off and on again if this will change anything I doubt it but it might Ah, oh, yay, it what? It does work. Cool, so you just press that to heat it up. Yay, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, cool, it does work. There we go, it does work. That is the button you press to change the heat. It's a little bit of a weird spot for it, like right in the middle of the straightener, but I guess that's keeping with a slim line design that they're probably going for. Alright, we'll give it a couple of minutes to heat up. I would say that that flashing means it is heating up, but maybe the instruction manual will tell me that. Okay, so it will flash while heating up, and then the steady display will be shown when it is heated. 
but it can take four minutes to fully heat. So let's just give it a couple of minutes. I cannot believe that was that hard. I was getting ready to think this thing was broken, but or it didn't work, or it didn't have a temperature control, which would be very, very weird for a heated appliance. So. Okay, let's finally get started. It is heated up. That little blue circle is steady and solid. So I've just got a little section of hair here, just as much as we normally take. I'm just gonna pull that out of the way. I'm just gonna start at the top. All right, so I'm just gonna hold the comb there and place that right at the root without burning myself and follow through. Okay. It's nice and smooth. I'm going to run over that part again. Just going to comb out this little section. My hair just knots so quickly. It is ridiculous. So. I keep moving the comb around on my head. What we want to do is have it in the hair. Get the plates as close to the scalp as you can without burning yourself. And then just follow through. So it would go like that. So that there, that there, and pull down. It's doing a really nice job. Okay, just gonna get in with the sections again, just a bit higher up on the ear, and just dragging across. My hair is feeling nice and soft. I'm finding I'm only having to go over maybe two to three times. The third time may even be a little bit overkill, but it's doing a good job. So I'm just going to keep going through. There's not really much <laughs> to say with straightening. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward um, straightening. It's not that difficult. But I, in this section, I'll just run over again what we're doing. So we're taking the section of hair, just going to comb it through first, place the comb on the hair, put the straightener closest to the roots as you can without bending yourself and then just pull down. And turn in how you want it, I'd like to curl it in towards my face. I think I spoke too soon, I've got a little bit of unruly hair here at the top. I'm just picking up the hair that I've already straightened just to blend it in and to get that finished end that I want. So I'm just going to spray a little bit more of the heat protectant on these top parts. This is where, like most people, I focus most of the heat when styling my hair. So I'm just going to go in on the ends with a little bit of this a DJ Shine Serum, Static Free from Natural Look. Let's put a little bit on my hands and just rub it through the ends there. So that is it. That is my hair straight with the Kmart wire plate straightener. 
Um, as you saw from the start, I could not figure out how to adjust the temperature. I had to Google it, find the instruction manual on the Kmart website. If it wasn't for this thing ruining my instructions, we wouldn't have had that issue. But it still took me a while to figure out. Um, it, I think it's a very weird spot for a temperature gauge on a straightener. And unless you have the instructions, you wouldn't know how to change it. Like, yes, the temp is there, but you can't even see the other temperatures because it is an LED screen. So you really needed to know that that's what you press, but it's not a button. So it makes it a little bit tricky. And it took me a while to get it and even when I did figure it out and it was moving it was still a little bit hard to push but other than that I really liked it I thought it went through my hair with ease it glided through my hair is shiny um, it's quite slimline it's really nice I remember back in the day I had a wire plate straightener and it was massive it was chunky um, I have a older style one of the name brand hair straighteners at the moment which I'm due for a new one but I really liked this. I really liked the look it gave. It said it was good for thick hair, and I have thick hair, and I totally agree. For $25, I think you can't go wrong with this. It was really, really good. Um, I feel like they've really stepped up their game with their hair tools. Uh, you don't have to go and spend a bunch of money to, you know, so your hair. No one knows what you use unless you tell them. But, yeah, I felt like I would get this same look using another a higher brand straightener. I felt like I didn't have to go over my hair too many times, two to three, sometimes went over two to four, but that was, my hair's just a bit unruly in some sections. But I definitely recommend. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are enjoying these videos, please let me know below. Give me a like, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I do have another video in mind using this, guys. So if you want to see that, yeah, hit that subscribe button. Thank you again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.